Hello, everyone. It's Tommy Lee Hayes Brown with Rito Recognition. Uh, I'm here today with my friend, Roy Saunderson. Roy is the Chief Learning Officer and Recognition Strategist at Rito Recognition Solutions. Roy is also the author of Practicing Recognition. Now, this is, um, he's, he's authored a, a couple of books, but Practicing Recognition will be the first uh, is the first in his series of practical and strategic books on giving employee recognition the right way. Um, giving uh, the real recognition, giving recognition the real, I'm sorry guys, giving the real recognition way. He is uh, a regular contributor to Training Magazine and Incentive Magazine and was chosen as one of the 25 most influential people in the incentive industry in 2017. He's considered one of the world's most foremost thought leaders in employee recognition and engagement. And he consults with and educates leaders and employee workforces in all types of companies, governments, and associations around the world. Uh, Roy and his lovely wife, Irene, have been married 40 years. They have five children, 13 grandkids, and he will be onboarding his newest grandchild on, drum roll please, Labor Day. <laughs> yeah. So uh, congratulations, Roy, on that 14th grandchild. Thank you for being with us today. I know your life is very busy. Uh, just one housekeeping thing. I want to make sure you guys, uh, we get to your questions. So if you do have a question, just raise your hand. You'll see the little button there. Submit your question, and I'll be gathering these through Roy's uh, webinar, and we'll circle back with him um, if we have any questions. Um, so without further ado, Roy Saunderson, how to make your onboarding recognition more meaningful. Take it away, Roy. Thanks very much, Tommy Lee. Uh, it's good to be with you and, and to share this very interesting topic. Uh, it was actually uh, uh, suggested by one of our, our sales executives, and I thought, wow, this is an interesting topic. And I, that is, It is a great topic. I yeah, can't wait. Yeah. yeah, I hadn't necessarily thought about it before. Mm -hmm. And so the more I kind of researched into it, it was kind of a fun one for me to kind of uh, write about and uh, kind of explore and how we can actually help everyone get better at doing this onboarding of recognition. So first of all, just to set the stage, what is onboarding? Well, of course, you know, we're, we are talking about the whole process of orienting people uh, when they're starting a new job and integrating them into the organization. You're providing the typical knowledge that people need. Obviously, it starts off with compensation and benefits and signing all the paperwork and, and maybe reviewing some education around the culture uh, of the organization, uh, getting to know uh, different people and getting yourself familiarized with all aspects uh, of the job. And so this, when it's done well and done right, uh, onboarding literally improves the retention of the individual wanting to stay with the organization. They feel a part, they feel accepted, and uh, just leads to a great positive start uh, on the job. So this was, you know, obviously understanding the actual onboarding process, but what about recognition? Uh, I don't know about you, but, but I, it's like, I don't often see recognition included in the picture of onboarding. And there's lots of ways in which we can address this. And I hope to be able to share with you some uh, practical ideas that you can implement. But I, I found it very interesting that there's this whole concept of not just onboarding, but pre-boarding. And, you know, after you've had, say, a job interview, um, this is where maybe one of the interviewers could actually reach out and send a thank you to the candidate. And, and we typically expect the candidate to write a thank you letter to the individuals who interview them and express appreciation for the chance to be considered as a potential job candidate. But we don't often hear about, wow, the company, a representative for the company thanking the individual for coming and can thinking about their company as a possible fit uh, for employment. So that's, that's the kind of first concept around pre-boarding. But there is another aspect of pre-boarding, which is that whole period of when a person accepts the job offer and before their first day on the job. And there's lots of things that you can do to just make things a little bit more 
um, I guess, smooth integration because that way when they start on the job, in a sense, they could really start on the first day working away. So, you know, here's some thoughts for consideration and that is just send out a company-wide email uh, announcing the name of the new hire, who they are, a little bit about them, and an invitation to staff to make them feel welcome uh, when they meet up with them. And I think it's just good because we get a lot of transition in organizations. People come, people go. And sometimes you might, especially if you're working remotely, uh, you might stumble upon the information of, oh, someone's new here or, oh, someone's left. But we've got to communicate broadly when a new person starts working. Uh, it kind of, kind of announces the possible uh, relationship opportunities, uh, the work relationship opportunities, and just a great way to kind of set the stage for that person's uh, first day on the job. You could invite the individual to come in before they start their new job, if it's possible, and uh, you know have a tour, uh, brief introductions to those they're going to work with, for example. Um, and if possible, you could even have perhaps a lunch with the team they're going to be working with uh, so they can get to know one another a little bit more on a casual basis rather than that typical formal, you know, first day of job when anxiety is high a little bit. This is just a great way uh, to connect and, and make uh, better connections and to make this a warm welcome uh, for when they actually start their job. So this is the whole pre-boarding and this is a kind of a show of respect and respect is always an essential value before you ever get to any recognition itself. And why not send uh, an email maybe a couple of days before they uh, come into work for the first day and just quickly ask if there's any uh, outstanding questions that they might have that you could quickly answer for them. Again, just to make them feel more comfortable and uh, have their list uh, checked off before they even start on the job. And so now we get into the actual onboarding side uh, of recognition. I want to show you some examples of what different companies do. Uh, it's quite fascinating. Uh, here's uh, Uber's uh, onboarding kit. You know, you get a, a branded hoodie and, and baseball cap, uh, notepad and stationery and other branded items, and even a a corporate tote bag, all right? So uh, imagine showing up on the job and having this well presented. This shouldn't just be dumped on the desk if you have a job that's uh, working with a computer, for example. No, this should be something that is a special presentation, another welcoming, formal welcome uh, with the manager, supervisor, along with perhaps some team members and making this a chance to say thank you for thinking of our company that you want to work with us. We're looking forward to working with you and to show our appreciation for that. We want to give you uh, this wonderful recognition onboarding kit to show our appreciation to you. Um, and here's Ferrero uh, welcome kit. And I'll be honest with you. When I saw this, I never realized Although I knew Ferrero Rocher, I, I the chocolates, I never knew uh, that uh, Nutella was made by them. I actually went out, had a look at the container and go, oh my goodness, this is made by Ferrero. But can you imagine, you get a, a welcome letter, a notepad, ballpoint pen, and a delicious sampling of some of their products. Uh, so this was uh, kind of a neat uh, welcome kit that I thought of and, and uh, obviously not all companies are food producers, uh, you know, produce items like this, uh, but this was like, a, mm, I'd like to be welcomed this way. So this is what they do uh, to recognize new employees. And here's IBM's uh, new hire welcome kit, uh, a little bit more formal. You know, got a branded backpack and a branded thermal mug and regular mug. You get a couple of t-shirts, a USB flash drive to kind of give you that kind of computer feel and notebook, notebook. And as you can see in the picture here, lots of pens. And I don't know about you, but it's true. Those pens go through quickly and it's nice to have a, a, a whole stack of them 
that you could use. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. So that's the IBM way. And so I, I just want to give you some sense of uh, not only the things you can give, but I think it's important to orient to the recognition programs that you have. And, I, and I'm just using Rideau's as a sample, but imagine if you oriented new employees on how to use a social recognition program, uh, how to send an e-card, how to uh, add comments to the, you know, the news stream uh, that comes out with other people's comments that they can add to. Uh, this kind of just gives people a sense of what they can do from day one. Uh, so make sure you introduce your programs uh, to your employees. Uh, don't wait for this to be a secondary thing that gets found out later on. Expose them to the importance of recognition. If you have a recognition strategy, orient them to your philosophy and your purpose around recognition. Uh, give them a feel for what's being worked on. Uh, give them a sense for the, the everyday recognition, the informal recognition, and even the formal recognition programs that your company uh, provides. So they know that, wow, we, we do a lot about recognition at, at the company I work for. They'll know that day one or day two, perhaps. But make sure you're not only showing them what you have, but show them how to use these programs. Give them their login methods that they need for getting access uh, to your programs. You might have performance recognition programs where people can not only send e-cards, but they can you know, give people social badges for living the values or achieving uh, some maybe strategic goals that you have. And maybe there's the provision in your programs for giving points or, or gifts or nominating people uh, for that that might have to be approved by a manager, for example. But the bottom line is make show people how to do this. Show your new hires how to use your recognition program so that they're confident in being able to recognize people. And it's something special about a new employee. Uh, the rest of us uh, who've been there a while in the company uh, might get a little too entrenched in everything and we are a little blinded by the work pressures that we perhaps ignore and neglect some of the great things that are going on. But a new employee is going to go, wow, they do this. Whoa, look at this. And wow, I wish I could say something to that person. Or they might just be the beneficiary of you know, someone helping them, uh, especially in the first few days uh, of starting a job. And they need to know how to use these programs effectively uh, to be able to acknowledge their peers, thank their manager, um, perhaps express appreciation to a colleague in another department uh, who helped them with a particular task. You know, give them the tools and show them how to use the tools uh, so that they can give uh, recognition as well as knowing that they will receive recognition as well. And of course, you, know, you, you would show uh, the new hires that you're onboarding that if there were you know, level-based uh, rewards that they receive or whether it's points-based rewards, that they can redeem these for a variety of uh, gift items uh, that hopefully will fit uh, their interests uh, available to them. So you, this kind of just gives a, an exposure to recognition that often gets neglected in the onboarding process. And we need to kind of build this in, make sure that if you're responsible for recognition in your organization, that you make sure that recognition is on the agenda uh, for the onboarding of new employees. And you know, obviously at Rideau, we can help as well. I, I, we just kind of put through some things together, but the key is we can customize various items that you could use uh, for onboarding new employees. And we can put your logo on it. We can add messages on things and uh, just make things a bit upbeat and personalized uh, for the individuals who are starting working with you. So these are just some of the ideas that you can use for a, you know, a recognition onboarding kit, if you will, uh, and think about what it is that would represent your organization uh, that would be best suited to giving to a new employee. So this is where you can get 
creative and working with different providers. We certainly would love to be uh, included in that opportunity. But look at things that you can give that will be meaningful and, again, show the, uh, the loyalty and the connection to the company uh, through branding and messaging that you can give. And um, one thing I wanted to point out, you know, obviously when we're talking about recognition programs, we're often talking about here's what you can get. Here's what you can receive from our company uh, as recognition and rewards uh, with, when working with us. But I think it's also important to orient new employees to giving recognition. This is not just about receiving. This is also about giving. So I think on the first day, I think it would be wonderful if you not only oriented uh, employees to say your social recognition program, but that you who gave employees uh, a thank you card or a set of thank you cards, just a few and a pen and show them how to write an effective thank you card. The same technique could be used with you know, various recognition programs and we've talked before on some of our webinars on being specific and, and making sure that you're specific about the action or behaviors that a person did that, that you may think merited being recognized and that you also are specific about the impact or difference that their, their actions or behaviors made. So you think about, you know, first week on the job and the different people that have helped you feel welcome. Uh, people that have kind of helped you out in finding where certain places were that you got a little lost even after that tour that you received. Uh, think about the different ways in which people have made a difference. Now, orient your new hire to be able to write a thank you card, write perhaps a special message through your various recognition programs, and thank people right from the get-go. Uh, what a wonderful way to really, uh, I think, immerse someone in recognition by setting the expectation for them to give recognition, let alone what they might receive themselves. So remember to go both ways. Orient the programs that this is what you will receive, but also make sure you are teaching your new employees that this is about giving recognition and that you can make a difference right from the first week that you're on the job by thanking people and, and honoring those who have made a difference to you. So I thought this was just a, a great way to kind of look at how you can embed recognition, integrate recognition into your onboarding process. And very simple ways, they're not too expensive, but imagine the impact they have when you give a recognition onboarding kit uh, to a new employee uh, how they can proudly wear, you know, a t-shirt or a hoodie, or they have their mug uh, on the desk, or especially those uh, thermal uh, mugs uh, or, you know, drinking containers, uh, to be able to have that on day one, you know, go to the water cooler, fill up with cool water or fill with coffee or hot drink. Um, just, just, that's just a wonderful way to help them see the company name, and to feel welcome uh, right from the get-go. So these are some of the ideas that I wanted to just kind of present to you. Um, I'm gonna ask now Tommy Lee that, you know, obviously Tommy Lee, people can always reach out to me through these different ways, but I'm just curious, uh, you've been monitoring the questions coming in. Uh, are there any yeah, questions? We have, uh, we have one comment and two questions. Okay. Yvonne says, uh, who should do onboarding of, of our recognition? Our HR department usually does this type of thing, but I'm thinking maybe it should be done by the manager. It's, it's all, all aspects are included here. If you have a manager of recognition, I think it's good to have them front and center so that people will know about them. But mm -hmm. this is really about the organization. What's the best fit here? You know, if it should be their manager doing this, then let's build that in. If that's the way we want to get a connection with the manager, and yep. it, it also kind of sets up the manager uh, to be, oh, I, I better be giving recognition too. It's another reminder uh, right. to reinforce the importance of recognition. So th there are no right way here uh, that we need to be looking at, but 
I think this is where culturally we look at the organization, we look at the size of the organization, whether we have someone who manages recognition or whether it's an HR person who has to assume right. the role and gets, you know, this is too much. Uh, we've got to put this in the right hands uh, according to the company and what's right for the individual. There may not be a right way, but there's certainly a wrong way. And I was just thinking about, um, I started a summer, it was just a summer job at some place and they had an onboarding package, which just consisted of a gift card to the store I was working in okay. and, and a corporate letter. And it was just left on my desk. Oh, you know, That was the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> I discovered it like, I don't know when it was left on my desk. You know, there's a pile of stuff on my desk and I discovered it one day and I was like, oh, oh yeah, that was on your first day. And oh, it yeah. had to be at least a week later. I discovered. Oh my goodness! That. A lost recognition opportunity. Total and, loss. Yeah. Total loss. yeah. And they're defunct today. They're not around. So that might, be, <laughs> that might be. I choose to believe that's why. That's why. <laughs> that exactly, Tommy Lee. Uh, I'm going to skip down because this one kind of piggybacks of what we're talking about. I'm skipping down to Jr's, and he says, "I've always done onboarding an onboarding lunch to get to know my new employees. Uh, my budget doesn't allow for me to do both, but I'm." considering maybe something branded, which one would you recommend, a lunch or a physical item? Oh, that's a good question. Um, people like putting me in these hot spots with these <laughs> kinds of questions. Uh, I didn't I'm, know the answer. That's why I'm asking no, you. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm not making the decision for the individual, but I'm mm -hmm. thinking this through. And there is no doubt that relationship building is essential mm -hmm. uh, for a new hire. I think they, they're going to... Uh, I think you could probably give something small, singular, and still have a lunch. And I would say once you, if you've gotten to know the individual as to whether they're more extroverted and if you know a little bit of their preferences for recognition, you might know whether it's going to be best to have a one-on-one -on -one lunch or whether we invite some of the team members and colleagues along too that would be mm -hmm. meaningful to the individual. So recognition is about is relationship building kind right. of opportunity. It's an experience. And so a lunch is an experience and it's honoring that individual. So I like, I do like the idea of if you can't do both, mm -hmm. probably do the lunch because it's a, an informal way of connecting that doesn't seem too formalized or might get, as you had with <laughs> that first job there, uh, a lousy kind of experience of delivering the, the wonderful recognition items, you might actually, if you don't do that well, you might actually resent some of these items because it was so trivially given or not given the right way or dumped. Uh, that would almost make the items a negative. Right. So do what's right. You're, you, in fact, here's the, here's the key to this person's question. Okay. The fact that they're asking the question, they already know the answer. Yeah. And, and I say that respectfully. I say that respectfully. Uh, we, we know the answer. When we're kind of going, oh, I don't know if I should. We're just trying to get some feedback and validation. I understand that and respect that. I do the same thing. And I think if they already probably know the answer. But if I was to have to deviate anything, I'd go say lunch first and then maybe not a big lunch and a small item to give. That's a nice little uh, different way of doing it. I totally agree. Let's say his budget's, I don't know, $50 per head for this lunch or whatever, you know, $40, whatever it is. I like your idea of, you know, taking a lunch, maybe scale down the restaurant, skip dessert and give them a water bottle because you know that they're going to need that or something to that effect. Exactly. I like yeah. that. I like the idea of both. Yeah, yeah. And it could be a cultural thing with the lunch. You know, maybe that's something he's yeah. heard about and you don't do it. You know, he might, you know, at first think it's, well, how come he doesn't want to do lunch with me? I heard he takes everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah especially with the grapevine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Johnny says, love the pre-boarding idea. Shows not only respect, but it lets me know I'm valued and considered part of the team from day one. So I guess yeah. that's part of the comment. You bet. And I think uh, this is a lost, it's another lost opportunity to do these things ahead of their actual first day, but after they've signed on. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this is a way, I mean, I've certainly heard some horror stories where people have technically accepted 
and then they don't show up because somebody else made another job offer. Uh, but I wouldn't be a bit surprised that other job offer is going to be based on perhaps either money or, you know, expertise opportunities, technical opportunities. It's not going to be based on relationships. And so if some, if we go out and we actually, you know, they've, they've actually submitted their acceptance offer and then we start truly communicating with them uh, and showing that we want to be involved with them, they might, if they got a second job offer, they might go, wow, I, I, this is, this is company over here that right. they, they may not be offering as much money or I may not have quite the same opportunities, but wow, I'm kind of, Ooh, this is kind of feeling cool to be involved with these people. They're already reaching out. I, 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 I've been getting contact from even some of my potential teammates, let alone the manager. Um, I, I might, I might want to go with this company after all. So I think that pre-boarding opportunities uh, are a great way for setting up. And then when they actually arrive on the onboarding and we, we get into and you get an onboarding recognition kit, wow, this is just the icing on the cake. Absolutely. We had one more. Do you have time for one more? It just sure. Popped, let's go. Up, popped up. Whitney says, does the level of employee matter? When recognition onboarding, I could see how this could get expensive. Oh, um, so maybe the professional level. And versus, yeah. 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 And I think, um, you know, I, when I'm, even when I'm talking about recognition of professionals or high performers, um, I, I, I talk about the prestige and pedestal effect. Mm -hmm. um, those who are high performers, those who are in professional levels, um, don't always, it doesn't always appeal to them to have the more uh, small, tangible items. Mm -hmm. And yes, you build in, remember, you're paying them higher wages anyway, salary, and you might be able to give them, say, a membership uh, in a professional association that right. you know they belong to. And if they've already paid, it's the next year's, you know. And uh, you, you make sure it's on a very nicely designed card and maybe even signed by the president that this is being given to. So you, you raise the, the level of the type of things that you give. Mm -hmm. It may only be singular in nature. And again, whatever the culture, the professional group or the level of the high professionals high-performing professionals have, again, that culture would also dictate somewhat what you might give. Right. So I think there are ways of addressing it. Yes, it is a little more expensive, but I think we don't have to go hog wild. It may only be singular, but again, it's the prestige of, you know, having membership in this association or right. whatever the item is that might be given. It's of a higher scale and quality. So I, I think you're absolutely right. And, and we're not talking about giving everybody an onboarding package that works for the company. You're only talking about the new, you know, from this day forward. Exactly. Yep. You know, so, and of course, it depends. You might hire thousands of people each quarter, you know, or you may hire two, you know, I don't, whatever size your company or that you're comfortable with. But um, like you said, when you're at the executive levels, there are perks that, you're, that are inherent in the job. So... Um, and, and quite frankly, you know, someone who's at, a, let's say, an executive level, you know, they'll, they'll enjoy the water bottle, they'll enjoy the lunch. But man, imagine this is their first real full-time job, first time in the workplace, what that's going to get you. I think it's just going to be perceived as more valuable to that younger, not in age, but less tenured worker. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Good. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's the key is... You know, what's the right fit? The right fit for the role, the position, mm -hmm. uh, the culture of the organization, uh, what has been done before, uh, any new precedents that we need to be setting. Uh, it's just so a little bit of careful planning and following a process consistently of when you get a new hire, this is what we do. And I think as long as we kind of try and standardize the process, but be informal on the approach, 
and make sure we're presenting whatever we're doing or giving uh, to employees the right way. Uh, we're going to make their starting on the job uh, a great success. I think you, that sums it up great, Roy, because I think that the bottom line here is, is it's not about the money or the, or the amount of money or even your budget. It could be as simple as, hey, this Friday, uh, let me buy your lunch at the cafeteria. We'll sit in a corner. And I just want to get to know you. You know, it, yeah. could, be, it could be that informal. But yeah. what, a, what a treat for that new employee uh, to be, uh, you know, to just sit in that corner with that manager and uh, just, you know, break bread and, and figure out who they are. Totally agree. Figure out who each other are. Well, thank you, Roy. Do you have anything else to add? I have nothing else to add. Certainly, uh, thank everyone for joining us uh, on this, how to make your onboarding recognition more meaningful. Uh, again, don't hesitate to uh, send in your questions to me or any ideas that you might have for future webinars. We're certainly pleased and willing to accommodate uh, all new ideas. I uh, love exploring anything regarding employee recognition and uh, love these questions that come uh, that Tommy Lee yeah, has. Yeah, we, we've got some great questions that come through. Things are, I mean, even this topic, I never never gave much thought about, but it could be so important. What another great tool to put in your toolbox. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Roy. And uh, good luck. Happy pushing on Labor Day. <laughs> please, please send her my regards. Will do. Take care. And we'll, and we'll pray. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.